Once Octopus Deploy Server is installed, before we install Tentacles, we need to learn about a few concepts and configure Octopus Deploy. So the first thing we need to learn about Octopus Deploy is the concept of space. Basically, you can have several different areas within your Octopus Deploy Server so that you can organize your deployments better. For example, you can have one space for Java applications, one space for .NET applications, one space for, for example, iOS applications, and one space for Android applications. If you have different teams that completely are segregated, you can also create different spaces. One thing you need to bear in mind is that adding spaces will add administration overhead to your setup, so don't go overboard with creating spaces. If you use free license of uh, Octopus Deploy, you will be limited to only one space, so you cannot create spaces with the free license. However, I have a copy, which is basically the Octopus Deploy that my team is using, and it has license. So as you see, it always comes with the default space, obviously, but we don't use this space. There are two other spaces. One of them is backend, which is all the APIs and backend systems go here. And we have websites, which is anything that is related to frontend goes here and we have plenty of projects in each space. So for example, in the website space, we have handful of projects in the backend space. We have quite a few of the projects, okay? So the first thing you need to create is space. If you are using free edition, you are limited to the default space. The next thing you need to create is the environment. So if you are a development team, you probably have development environment, which is for developers to test the code. You have staging environment, which is basically for, for example, testers and your quality assurance team. And then you have production environment, which is basically the actual environment you put your website on. So we need to create environments so that we can manage deployments. Your environments are in infrastructure menu. So you have to click on infrastructure and click on environments in the left side of the screen. And then you will see the list of environments that you have. And we need to add environment with the add environment button and just give it a name. For example, we can say dev abbreviation of development and we click on saving. So now we have an environment. There is no complicated setup. It's just that you give it a name, option description and leave the rest to default. Once you create the environment, you can start adding a tentacle to your target server, which we do in the next lecture.